Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. A huge thank you to all of the amazing artists in our community who've been sending me absolute tons of artwork of all of our families. In the mix today, we have our great explorer Kois, Rear and her daughter LeMay, the little ball of poison Kukirkir, and even our well-missed founder Adam. So once again, guys, thank you so much for sending me all of your artwork. I absolutely love looking at these. They honestly make my day. So in the last episode, we finished off breeding with Kier Duke with his very special immunity gene D, and now his children are going to take on the reins of passing that along the rest of the island. So one of the first things I would actually like to do today is start bringing Rico with her immunity gene D up toward the north, because I noticed that she has the panda patterns hidden in her genetics, which means that she might make a good pair for Rovan as well. So assuming that we can find a nest out here, again, that's kind of like a big if at this point, because we've had some pretty rotten luck with it so far, I do want him to breed with me enemy as well as Rico. So hopefully that's going to work. We are going to continue spreading this out. I think I'll carve me enemy a path like up toward this way so she can kind of skirt along the edges of the swamp. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some sort of nest here. I mean, it's been so long since we've found a new nest. There has to be something in this portion of the island somewhere. It can't just be full of bunnies and bushes. But let's see, we do need to pick up some of these berries here. Um, some of these guys have some extra turns left, so hopefully somebody can scoop up some berries. I feel like the berry bushes may have actually restocked since I last turned on the game, because I'm pretty sure we picked these before, and that's why so many of these creatures are out of energy at the moment, but I guess um, I can't really complain because it is giving us some extra turns. So we'll go ahead and pick up as much as we can and then have me and me come this way and just start moving this sort of a path right along the edge there. And I I think Rovan actually has a few more turns too, so we might as well continue his path down this way. Um, it doesn't look like there's a nest there. I have really low hopes that there's a nest in this little tiny patch of tiles, so I'm not sure if we're going to find something in that direction. But after we skip the turn here, we will be able to hopefully pick up like this carnivore meat right here because in the last episode, Anna Isri also saved her father from this looming carnivore who was laying traps along the way of bunny meat. So we'll go ahead and pick up that carnivore meat in the next turn. Let's go ahead and skip the day right now and watch as this bunny just completely consumes all of our berries too, I'm sure. Somebody did get hurt. I did hear that. So who on earth got hurt? Was it you actually? Um, No, because she's the closest to all of the grass. It looks like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Rovan, it's you. I was looking straight at me and me and I didn't even notice you back here. Oh my gosh, I don't want you getting hurt of all of our critters. You with your gorgeous poison fangs. Well, at least he can poison this guy. I mean, that is his job. So let's go ahead and start slowly whittling away the carnivore. Um, he seems to have a lot of health, actually, or do you just have, like, a really low attack? Oh my gosh, he only has one. Okay, so that's why, but at least that means that this guy's poisoned now. So, to do here, can you even get down here to help your son? I don't think you can, but me enemy can come over here and help out her future mate. I mean, we can at least do that, so we'll have her swipe this guy, and then to do here, you can come over here and do one more, and, I mean, he's almost done, but I feel like he is probably going to attack one of these guys, which is a little bit unfortunate. I don't think um, the poison will be enough to completely take him out. Sira, I mean, you could possibly finish the job, though you you might not be able to get around all of the grass in time because unfortunately we don't have a clear path to him. So I think I will just leave you right there for now and then we'll go back to scooping up berries and bunnies because they are all over the place at the moment. So let's grab this carnivore meat and let's grab this bunny over here. I swear, Meme, like, communes with the bunnies now. This is the most adorable thing. She just talks with the bunnies and kind of lures them over so that she can grab them with her big giant claw. So we'll just um, leave her turn, actually, because one of these guys might hop a little bit closer, so she could at least snag one more. You guys, however, need to start working on these bushes because you guys have the berry paws. And hello, hello, you're going to go over there. I, I guess we'll let him eat that, I guess. I mean, it's probably not worth just chasing him away though oh my gosh it bugs me so much that he's actually just stealing our berries okay so do kirku you can come over here and scare the bunny away for us because that is going to frustrate me way too much if we just see him snacking away at every single one of our berries and um it doesn't look like this one has any more berries over here so i have a feeling there's probably some bunnies chomping away at it in these grasses over here so let's go ahead peek in the grass and hopefully try to clear it of any bunnies in the process 
And then let's see, Rico, we want you to start moving up toward the north as well. So why don't you carve like a totally new path straight through the middle of the swamp? Um, she was the baby who was born sick. So she does have a shorter lifespan and I don't really like sitting her in the swamp just because that means that she could get sick in the future. But we'll just keep a very close eye on her and hopefully she'll be able to survive long enough to uh, give us another baby. So Kuvan, you are definitely right at death's door at this point. Let's grab this bunny, let's pick up that because it's worth a little bit more than the bush. Um, I'm not really sure if he's going to survive this turn. I feel like he's probably going to pass away. And then we're going to have to have Anna Isri, like... I mean, I, I don't know if we should have her go up there and keep looking for a nest, or if we should bring her back just so she can continue on her line, because it's it's not really a given that we're going to find a nest in this area at this point. We've explored quite a bit of it, and we haven't found one so far, so I'm not really sure what to do with her. I guess for now, we'll bring her over this way so she can at least be with her father before he passes away. And then we'll have her pick those berries um, in the next turn too, when she gains a little bit more energy. There's still a couple guys up here with their berry paws that can collect some food for us, so we'll go ahead and do that. And Kukirkir, you are another one who will be passing away and I feel very, very bad for this guy. He was our little ball of poison too, because he has the poison fangs and the toxic body right together. He can't attack, but he is definitely Definitely a little ball of poison who even managed to poison one of the carnivores that attacked him. So he has definitely lived a very full life and I am very proud of him. I will miss him when he passes away. Now, Kira Duke, maybe you could help us a little bit. You have just a little bit left of your lifespan, so I suppose we could start like bringing him up this way too to continue searching. Um, why don't we search this way with him? We'll search off in this direction and have him make a little pathway along like the outside of the island, and we'll see if he can find anything in that location. And hello, Lamey, you can now successfully catch one of these bunnies. And oh my goodness, meme, your little bunnies love you so much. I mean, she is not technically a bunny duty member, but it's pretty fitting that she's right next to the burrow because I really do feel like she's just luring them out with her looks because she looks so much like a bunny herself. Now, I think the last turn we have here is with Kernuta. He can snatch up these berries right here. Um, Kernuta, I actually wanted to breed with Kolako before they get too old. So that's something that we want to do very shortly because they're both old enough to have babies now and we do have some free nests in the area. So I am going to breed them soon. And I'm also going to put the claw back on our mutation menu because I've noticed that in the middle area in particular, it seems like we're having trouble holding on to the claw. And I want to make sure that these clawed critters are basically spread throughout the entire island so we don't have these situations back here where we have these carnivores that can't be defeated in one go. So we'll go ahead and um, keep the claw in this area. I've had some really rotten luck with the dots too. They haven't mutated yet, but we've had them in the mutation menu for so very long. So I think instead of um, the yellow fur, I'm also going to place the black eyes in here so that we can hopefully mutate black eyes too. When the black eyes are mutated, they'll change to brown eyes and then it goes from brown to green and then green to blue. So if we can unlock some of those mutations, some of those uh, different genetics, then maybe we could get some more unique looking characters on the island as well. So I think that might be it. We'll just have Sine's kind of peek in that grass right there and then we'll go ahead and uh, skip the turn I think because it doesn't look like there's anything else for us to do and now we just have to cross our fingers that this carnivore does not destroy anyone in this family. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's see, who is he? Yep, of course, no, no to Duke here, not you. Why would you pick our oldest pack member? I mean, technically that is a very valid way to uh, go about your day, Mr. Carnivore, because you would want to pick off the weakest one, but oh my gosh, that is so sad. Oh, Sira, you must be so upset right now. Oh my gosh, well, me enemy, it is time for you to officially kill that guy and then Rovan can collect the meat for us. Oh, that is so upsetting. I can't believe that he picked Tadukir of all of them. Tadukir was basically our slowest pack member, but he was also a very beloved pack member, so I am going to miss him. Let's peek at this berry bush so we can at least use that in the future. At least there's something down here. And then me enemy, you can come up here and once again attempt to find some form of nest for us to use. Then uh, Rico, we want you to continue along this way too. Let me just check for bunnies. Just gonna make a quick sweep for bunnies. And Kuvan, you survived. You survived the night. You're not gonna survive this night, but at least you survived one of them. That's good. But Rico, let's go ahead and slice your way through the swamps. 
Um, there's a rock right there. That's not really going to help us. And then Sinise, I'm wondering if maybe I should bring her up a little bit closer too. Oh my goodness, like all of our berry duty members have died too. Oh no. So Sinise, actually, I want you to come right here in between these bushes so that she'll be able to help us with her double berry paws. And then Sairi, I think, let's see, we want to sit you right over here and slice that bunny for us. Thank you very much. Um, it looks like we have a couple more berries to pick, but I do want to send Kira Duke up this way before he ends up getting too old. Um, still nothing for us to settle down in. Gosh, I wonder if these are really our only nests. If that's the case, then that's going to be a little bit harder than I expected to keep all of these guys separated. So Anna Isri and Kuvan both have the exact same stat in collecting, I believe, which is only one. Only one. So they can only collect one of these berries at a time. And there's three berries on here. So Anna Isri, why don't you go ahead and collect them all for us? And then Kuvan, you can use your very last turns to scoot on this way and peek in this grass for us and find absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh god. Well, there's still a slight, slight chance that there could be something on this end, but I don't know, guys. I am really starting to worry that that might not be the case anymore. Um, there's still a little bit of savanna that we can look at over here. There's still a little bit over here, but it's so close to the other nest that I, I don't feel like that's really going to help us because we want to spread them out a little bit more. But if that's our only option, then I guess that's that. So, Kernuta, why don't you pick up these berries and then we want you to kind of like scoot on this way, I think, so you can maybe meet Kolako in the middle? Can we do that? Um, we can almost do that. That is so close. Okay, well, we can at least breed them and then in the next turn, we'll move her back to one of the nests so that she can have a uh, new baby, hopefully with a claw for us. We'll gather up our last few berries, it looks like, and then um, there's just this berry bush over here, which we've almost been using as a trap because the uh, bunnies do definitely like to come over to it and uh, talk with meme. But I think that's it for this turn. It looks like everyone has used up their turns. Um, aside from Coco, who I do want to stick again by one of these berry bushes, so why don't we go ahead and sit you right over by this one? There we go, that should be fine. Um, and now we'll go ahead and skip the turn. And is anyone, well, aside from Kuvan, poor little Kuvan passed away, but it looks like everyone else is safe right now. Um, it looks like everyone else survived. So at least it was only Kuvan, though I feel so bad for him. He was really gorgeous with his big ears. And now there's just like all of this dark space around poor Anna Isri. We need to find you a nice family to settle down with too, because now you're all alone and I feel so bad for you. So we'll go ahead, pick this berry. And then we will start like scooting on this way just like her father was so that she can pick up where he left off and hopefully again, hopefully find one of those nests. Um, we'll go ahead and pick some berries too. We want to have enough turns to continue our day, though we have plenty of turns in all honesty. We have so many turns right now. Um, let's see. You guys up here also need to continue carving your separate paths. So Rico, why don't you come along this way for us? There we go. Um, still nothing for us yet. And then me enemy, I suppose you can scoot up this way for us. Rovan can at least collect the berries with his berry paw. And then I guess he can go along the uh, shoreline like we were planning before. We'll just have him kind of loop around this way and maybe we'll get lucky and find something in the process. And then we also want to start moving Kalako over to one of the nests. So why don't you sit on this one? That one's probably the closest one for you. And Kernucha, why don't we move you right back to uh, the bush where you were before? There we go. There are some bunnies hopping around there, so you'll have to guard it very well. And then we just have a couple more turns to use up for our berries, it looks like. I might actually send Dukirku out this way, too, to continue peeking around in this savanna area. We do want to explore as much as we can so that we can find more nests for our pack to use. Kira Duke, you are so very old, so let's go ahead and use your last few turns, too. Um, and it doesn't look like... I mean, these these girls we definitely want to keep by the berry bushes because they have their berry paws, so I don't really want to send them out exploring just yet. Um, we might move Sairi right here instead. Well, <laughs> there's only a rock there. Wow, that's not really going to help us, but you can peek at that anyway. And then why don't we have you, little Rila, come down this way. Oh, where all of the bunnies are apparently, so maybe we can find something on this little tiny strip of land down here. And I think that might be it. Um, Meme, we really need to find somebody for you to breed with too, because I don't want your genetics to die. We are not letting the memes die in this series. But we are getting very low on males, I have noticed, so we might actually breed her with Kernuta as well. 
that might be what we have to do. Um, actually, I mean, we just have Dukirku, we have Kurnuta, and we have Rovan way up there. And um, of course, since Kirduk is going to be passing away, he's not going to be able to help us very much. Um, we do have this one over here too, Neuroduke, though I believe he is the brother of Meme, so that's not really going to help us out very much. Dukirku, on the other hand, was the son of Anair and Kirduk, I believe, which means that this would be like Meme's nephew, I want to say. I believe that's how it goes. I mean, I have all of these notes in front of me, but oh my goodness, it gets so messy sometimes when you have a pack this big. So I think that's how they're related, but at this point, there's going to be some sort of inbreeding in basically any pair that we do. So Meme, I might save for Kernuta, and um, we'll just breed them. Let's see, how do their genetics line up? Let's see, B and E. And then we have B and C. So again, not the best of matches, but we are kind of having trouble with the immunity genes anyway, so it's probably as best as we can do at this point. Um, and they don't really have anything special in common, it looks like. They don't really have much um, special, but we could switch some things around in our mutation menu when we do breed them. And then maybe we can get something very uh, unique. But I think that might be it for this turn. Doesn't look like any of our explorers have any more turns to make. So we'll go ahead and skip the day and hope that nobody else passes away. Um, it looks like everyone's okay. I did hear a little bunny pop out though. There we go. There's another little bunny for LeMay to grab. And oh my gosh, yet another one of our beloved pack members who is going to be passing away in the next turn. LeMay. Um, that means that Sierra's probably getting old too, isn't she? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. We might actually have to backtrack and bring these guys back to the nests over here if we want them to survive because at this point, we're not looking uh, too good. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find a nest in time for them to uh, breed. So we might just have to do that. We might have to start doing that right now, in fact. Rovan, I want you a little bit closer to um, your mates. So we'll bring him right over this way, I think. We'll bring him <laughs> through all of the bunnies. I'm just going to ignore the bunnies for now because we have enough food anyway. And um, I want him to get as close as possible before we run out of time with these guys. So Rico, you can kind of meet him over here. And uh, we will eventually bring um, them all back into this area to continue exploring. But I just don't want them to get too old and have all of these lines just completely go extinct. So we'll bring Mianami right there and actually breed with him right away so that she at least has um, a baby ready to go as soon as she can find a nest. I think uh, we did that with one of their relatives. Um, I believe it was Cece, Cece and Vanta from many, many episodes ago who um, actually had a baby before Vanta passed away and then we just brought Cece to a nest later on. So we just have a couple more berries to collect it looks like and you, you and Isri back here Oh gosh, what should I do with you? I mean, I suppose you could at least connect these territories, but I'm really worried about her. She is very, very far away. Hopefully she's fast enough to get back if we do need to quickly like grab um, a mate for her. So we'll have Sinace pick these berries with her lovely berry paws. Um, Kolako, you don't have anything to do just yet. Um, I wonder if we could put her in a different location so maybe she could snatch up one of those bunnies. We might want to think about that. Um, Kier Duke, your very last turns can once again be spent just exploring for us. And there's nothing down there yet. Oh man, I am really getting worried about this. Um, Rila, why don't you come down here? You can scoot down here and <laughs> find another little bunny it looks like. Hopefully there's something over here too. Um, it seems like sometimes we get these berry bushes way off down by the shore. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find at least something. Dukirku, you can once again scoot this way. Um, Meme, let's have you kind of explore this way too. You can help him out a little bit. And here's our baby too, which I completely forgot about somehow, Kuvan. So Kolako gave birth to Kuvan and he has the poison fangs, which is what I love to see. Um, he also has the panda patterns hidden away. So maybe we can bring those out. They are very tricky to pass along it seems. And we're going to need somebody to sit here when LeMay passes away. So are any of her children in the area, I wonder? We do have Anakosi, who I believe was her daughter. So she could possibly sit there for now, um, just to have someone there ready for all of those little bunnies that are gonna be hopping out. We'll bring her very close by so that she can swap places with her mother when she passes away on the next turn. 
and then we'll just have Neuroduke kind of watch over both of these berry bushes for now. But it looks like, oh, little Sarah, you have some bunnies to collect. You have some bunnies to collect in your old age up here. So there we go. We managed to get a couple of those guys. There's still so many wrestling around in here that it's hard to keep track of. Um, Sairi, why don't you grab this berry right here? Um, and it looks like, I mean, maybe we should have her push out this way. Maybe? I mean, I want to keep her near those berry bushes so she can collect them all with her big uh, berry paw, but I suppose a little bit of exploring can't hurt. So we'll go ahead and pass the day, and oh, there goes Kier Duke, there goes LeMay. Oh no, and I think somebody just sneezed too, so somebody's sick. Oh my goodness. Well, if it keeps on like this, then we might end up with uh, some new blood after all, if all of our creatures start passing away. But let's have you collect that bunny right there and start peeking in this grass. And then you need to start making your way back to one of these nests so that we can at least um, have you give birth. So let's scoot you this way so you're a little bit closer at least. Um, and then let's have you pick this berry before the bunny does. And then you can pick this berry before the bunny does. Um, it looks like we need to put Anacosi right on top of this burrow too. So we'll go ahead and do that so she can take over her mother's job. And Meme, let's have you continue exploring too. Let's have you jump here. And then Nukir Duke can jump right here. There's a nest! Yes, we finally found another nest! It is in like one of the most awkward locations I could think of, but we finally found an extra nest! Oh my goodness, Dukirku, you saved the day for us. Let's go ahead and look straight at that nest so we don't lose it. Let's keep our path so that everyone can come and uh, use it in the future. Oh my goodness, you guys. So we definitely want to start bringing Anna Isri back at this point, I think. We'll go ahead and scoot her this way. Um, it seems like she is a little bit slower than some of her siblings, so it might take her a little while to get over there anyway. And then we'll figure out who she is going to breed with, who Meme is uh, going to breed with, though I think it will probably be uh, Kernuta because we are so very low on males. Luckily, this little guy might be able to help us out in the future, so we'll have to see if we can pair him up with anyone special. But yeah, guys, other than that, I think we're doing all right. I mean, I do want to keep an eye on our population because I feel like we have really uh, started to thin out our ranks lately, especially with um, the lack of nests. And I hate to leave poor little Sira all up here by her own, especially since her mate just passed away in this episode from uh, one of those carnivores. So that's a little bit worrying, but we do want to bring um, Mianami back to one of the nests. And I think in the next episode, she will be giving birth. So we'll see if possibly Mianami can give us another one of those panda babies with Rovan. I'm sure whatever it is, it'll have those lovely fangs because there's a very good chance of that. And wait a second, let me just grab this bunny while we're here. There we go. One less bunny for us to worry about. So thank you all so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!